Now, let us look at some of the practical consequences of adjuring people and commanding people to love. Many a, a parent says to the child, nice children love their mothers. And, uh, of course, I'm sure you're a nice child. You ought to love your mother, but not because I, your mother, say so, but because you really want to do so. Because one of the difficulties is none of us in our heart of hearts respect love which is not freely given. If, for example, you are an ailing parent and you need to be looked after and you have a son or daughter who feels dutifully that they should look after you because, after all, you've done so much for them, but this somehow, your living with your father or mother prevents you from having a home and a life of your own. Naturally, you resent this duty, and your parent is well aware that you resent it, even if they pretend to ignore it. They therefore feel guilty that they have imposed upon your loyalty, and you, in turn, can't really disclose from yourself the fact that you hate them for getting sick, even though they couldn't help it. And therefore, nobody enjoys the relationship. It is a painful duty carried out. And the same thing would naturally happen if after a number of years, uh, having at, at the altar made a solemn and terrible promise that you would love your wife and husband, come what may, forever and ever, till death do you part, and then suddenly you find you really haven't the heart in you to do it anymore, then uh, you feel guilty and that you ought to love your wife, uh, family or whatever, and naturally, uh, this is a sort of fiasco, as would be obvious, if you were to ask your wife, do you really love me, and she were to reply, I'm trying very hard to do so.